all in this video we will talk about linear regulator so re linear regulator is one of the common regulators used in embedded circuits right if you talk about a um, low noise uh, and uh, um, low cost regulator it is the linear regulator that the embedded engineers uh, prefer right so in this video we will talk about the basic principle of linear regulator and uh, operation of uh, uh, the linear regulator and then <clears throat> we'll also uh, compare uh, uh, the output of uh, the linear regulator um, that is drawn in lt spice uh, with a data sheet uh, values that are provided so linear regulators are basically uh, two types one is fixed regulator and second one is adjustable regulator that is based on how we control the output voltage okay so fixed regulator means we don't have the output adjustable resistors um, whereas fixed regulator whereas adjustable regulator will have feedback resistors so um, that's what we know about uh, the fixed and adjustable regulators right we'll see how Mm, that adjustable regulator can be used to get the output voltage and then we'll simulate the circuit uh, as uh, we have drawn the basic linear regulator circuit in LT spice and we'll also observe the waveform so before going further okay we will we will first see uh, the um, linear regulator um, data sheet okay and this is a linear regulator data sheet uh, um, the part number is tps 72 xx okay so this linear regulator uh, is uh, uh, basically a low dropout voltage regulator which is uh, <coughs> uh, used uh, commonly by uh, many engineers as well so uh, if we go the output of linear regulator okay uh, is dependent on uh, um, the reference voltage and then the feedback resistors okay we'll we'll talk about the principle let us first uh, see what are all the factors that determine the um, output so if you see here um, the, these are the output feedback resistors and uh, these resistors determine the output voltage as shown in this uh, um, table okay now let us go to the uh, LT spice first. Okay, so in LT spice we have a basic uh, linear regulator drawn where we are providing 5 volts input and then uh, input capacitor uh, of what's your microfarad and <clears throat> we have a series pass element. So the entire operation of uh, the linear regulator depends on this series pass element so how this series pass element is controlled determines the output voltage so as this uh, uh, series pass element uh, is uh, <coughs> controlled or the conduction of this series pass element is controlled uh, the output is seen uh, from this regulator and this series pass element is controlled by a, an op amp which in the linear regulator technology is called a error amplifier which actually is a differential amplifier so you can see here the output of this error amplifier is controlling the gate of this uh, p channel mosfet so this is a p channel mosfet okay and this particular error amplifier uh, is is provided uh, uh, a VCC of uh, 5 volts you can also provide a separate power supply if required okay so one condition here is uh, this uh, um, voltage that is provided uh, to this uh, should not go well beyond uh, the um, saturation of this particular MOSFET so that means it should not completely turn on okay so we'll talk about that okay and then <coughs> here is um, the error amplifier inputs 
first uh, inverting terminal a v ref of 1.188 is provided now if you go to the uh, the this uh, particular <coughs> Regulator, so you can see the V ref is 1.188. To just explain um, the operation, we have used this particular data sheet values. So the V ref provided is 1.188. Okay, generally, this 1.188 um, in, the, in the regulators is derived from the input voltage by using a resistor divider or using a uh, GNR. <coughs> to clamp to the required voltage okay here for simulation purposes we showed a uh, supply voltage and then the output of this mosfet is provided to a load and then a output capacitor okay um, so there, there is an input capacitor there is an output capacitor as well and you can go through to uh, uh, through the respective data sheets of linear regulators to know how to determine these uh, <coughs> capacitor values. Generally, you get a recommendation from the uh, regulator data sheet. And then, um, the output we can see here there is a resistive divider. So, if there is a voltage here, uh, this voltage gets divided, and um, the resistive divided voltage is provided as input to the uh, non inverting terminal. So, the output of this particular circuit is determined by V out is equal to V ref into 1 plus R3 okay R3 by R4 so if we want to be precise we can put it 1.188 into uh, 1 plus R3 by R4 okay so this is the output voltage of this particular regulator based on the resistor values uh, the output is going to vary now this feedback voltage whatever is provided to the op amp um, uh, the error amplifier takes the difference of uh, the inverting and non inverting and then takes the uh, gets multiplied by the gain and it gets applied to uh, the um, mosfet okay so this mosfet uh, basically we know right it is a voltage controlled and uh, um, the the resistance of this can be controlled by controlling the voltage that means in the um, uh, operation of this particular mosfet the conduction is controlled on um, using the output voltage of this okay so uh, this is the basic structure. So there is a pass element, a series pass element, there is a output resistor division uh, and there is error amplifier and there is reference voltage. These are the basic ingredients of the uh, linear regulator and then this 100 ohms is a load. Uh, so for example, if we have 4 volts here, okay, that means uh, this particular <coughs> load that is uh, that can be provided to this is 40 milliamps okay so we can vary the uh, load and see how the voltage is varying okay now if we go back to this particular uh, data sheet we can see um, for a given resistance of 191 ohms r1 is 191 that means the top resistor is 191 and the bottom resistor is 169 okay so 169 so one of the uh, design technique while uh, designing this linear regulators is keep the keep one of the resistor common okay basically uh, people do prefer um, the lower side resistor common and then they will play around with the top resistor to generate different voltages so as per this configuration with these resistors we should see a voltage of 2.5 now let us try to simulate this circuit okay if we simulate the circuit, you can see, okay, let us try to heat, okay. Now, let us try to probe the input voltage first. Input voltage is 5 volts and if you probe the output voltage at any point, okay. Now, let us try to remove the um, voltage and let us try to simulate again. You can see this is 2.5 volts as expected, 
right and then uh, for example instead of 100 ohms let us assume tomorrow we connect to 250 ohms what should happen the current must increase but the voltage should remain constant right <coughs> this is nothing but <coughs> which is talked in uh, load regulation load regulation is nothing but the the <coughs> variation of output voltage with uh, variation uh, in the load values that are provided so now instead of 100 ohms we provided 250 now what should happen ultimately uh, initially the voltage might drop because there will be a current uh, and again how much drop depends on this capacitor because this capacitor will have charging okay uh, will get charged and it provides the instantaneous current that is required but um, there will definitely be a small dip here and uh, the recovery of this dip depends on how fast this control loop works. So now uh, let us try to run this. Okay, even though it is 250 ohm, you can see we have still um, a voltage of approximately 2.5 volts. So that means even though there is a variation in the load, the input volt, the output voltage is constant. Now, let us see another voltage for reference, okay. Now, let us take this 309 and 169. Let us go to the LT spice and let us try to run the simulation, okay. Uh, okay, what, what was the voltage? Uh, what was the resistor? It is 309, right. So, let us try to change the top resistor to 309 and uh, with 309 and 169 ohms we are we we should expect a output voltage of 3.3 right so let us try to run this and you can see here the output voltage is around 3.3 now let us just try to play around with the load okay still you see that the voltage is 3.3 so that means we are achieving a regulation at the different loads uh, with a given voltage division very simple Right now, let us try to see one more. Okay, um, let us try to see uh, with 348. Okay, so 348, and if we try to run this, you can see we are getting around 3.6. Okay, see, you got 3.6. Now, how close you can go uh, depends on the RDS on of this particular uh, MOSFET. So now let us see if we can generate four volts. This is a, a, a as we go closer to the uh, as we go uh, closer to the input voltage um, as output voltage is closer to the input voltage. This particular uh, linear regulator uh, configuration is called a low dropout regulator. That means there is a very low voltage dropout. Uh, between the input and output. Let us see if we can get 4 volts with a change of 402. Okay. So, 402, we should get around 4 volts. You can see we are getting an output voltage of 4 volts. That means with different configurations of the LDO, okay. Um, uh, sorry, the adjustable regulators, we are getting output voltages and we are almost uh, able to get uh, closer to the input voltage as well. Let us try to make this 25 ohms, okay, and see what we get here. You can see we got around 4.175. So, if you want 4.2 volts, which is uh, one of the uh, voltage which is used for uh, uh, the <coughs> models, uh, the 4G, 3G modems in the market. So you can you can adjust the resistor accordingly based on the standard resistor value, and you can get this. So this is how a simple linear regulator circuit works. Okay. So hope we gave a glimpse of operation and how linear regulator works and how it can be simulated with a simple example from the data sheet. Please post if you have any questions. Please like. Uh, our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.